Today I'm going to share three quick and easy tips to help you improve your pour over making process. So the first involves the filter. So usually when you are making pour over coffee, you just pour the filter right along the crease and place it in the brewer. And while this works, I found this creates some awkward spacing uh, if the angle of the filter doesn't match the brewer exactly. And that can kind of lead to air pockets or uneven extraction as water kind of drips out the side. So what I found works a little bit better is to fold the filter a little bit more. And this angle, you'll have to kind of experiment with your brewer and your filters to see what works best. But find that angle that works better for the brewer, and then it sh its shape fits the brewer's angle a little bit better, and it sits a little bit more snugly in there, which helps kind of create that um, nice lock um, to kind of evenly extract the ground and have it fit a little bit nicer. So that's the first tip. Next tip involves preparing the grounds for bloom. So while the flat bed approach does work, um, there's two other alternatives that I found work a little bit better. The first is what's called the Kubami method, which simply involves taking either something like this, which is a mellow drip stirrer, or a chopstick, or a pencil, something, starting the outside of the grounds, and kind of twirling in to create this kind of tornado effect in the middle. And that helps to help focus the water at the beginning, in the center where the grounds are the deepest. And then you kind of twirl your water out, um, and that helps evenly saturate the grounds during the bloom, which is one of the main goals of the bloom stage, to kind of evenly saturate the grounds and get them ready for brewing. The other approach, if that seems a little bit daunting, or you don't have something like this that can do that, um, is what I just call the divot. So simply take finger and make a small divot in the center of your grounds, and that has a very similar effect where it helps focus the water at the beginning in the center where your grounds are the deepest to again help evenly saturate your grounds during that bloom stage. And the third tip involves agitating the grounds after bloom. So once we bloom our coffee and get our water in there, you can just let it sit and there's some that prefer that. I've started to prefer either a simple twirl like this or using the stir and just kind of make a simple agitation around um, the outside. And this again helps make sure that all those grounds are getting evenly saturated during this bloom stage so that when you start to brew, they all have been fully saturated and are ready to go. Um, and just make sure you get the most even extraction while you're brewing your coffee. So I hope these three tips have been helpful um, and are easy to implement as you start and continue making pour over coffee.